I learned about a new anti-Semitic trope that I didn't even know about. I mean, listen, there's a lot out there and I'm always learning new ones, unfortunately. But this, this is an octopus and I didn't realize that they represent um, a hatred for the Jewish people. And to be very clear, anti-Semitism is the hatred for the Jewish people. So when somebody says, well, I'm a Semite, so I can't be anti-Semitic, it doesn't work like that. You aren't a Semite, you just speak a Semitic language. And the word anti-Semitism was specifically created to discuss the hatred of the Jewish people. I'm not trying to gatekeep that word, I'm just trying to tell you the actual facts. So let's talk about the octopus. Thanks to this woman right here, <clears throat> Greta Thunberg, for her post that she did take down, where she said she accidentally put that octopus in the picture where everything else is super intentional. You put that right there. Like, that, that's not an accident that you put the octopus on the chair. And now to show you about the octopus, because I didn't know what it meant that it could be anti-Semitic. This is a cartoon from uh, around, you know, the World War II era from the Yahtzees, and it's depicting uh, an octopus. This is like the Jewish people encircling the world. Basically, Jews get uh, blamed for everything. You know, everything's our fault. So this kind of, that's what this means. If I'm missing something here, please let me know since I'm just learning about this. And if you were wondering what this is and where it came from, it's actually one of Louis's dog toys. I don't think Louis is anti-Semitic, but he just really likes the octopus. 